The dream of a new life in Europe is becoming more unattainable for many asylum seekers as countries reverse open door policies for refugees. Bruce Harrison is live in the studio with me. Bruce, uh, Sweden has announced that it may deport up to 80,000 asylum seekers. That's right, Kunyang. This would certainly be a massive effort if they were able to accomplish it. And when um, Interior Minister Anders Digman announced that figure today, he said the government is going to need way more resources to get it done. A Swedish newspaper, a Swedish daily rather, reports the government's approving applications for about 55% of asylum seekers right now in Sweden and rejecting 45%. The announcement from Sweden is the latest example of a Europe struggling to cope with the 1.1 million people that flooded in from war torn countries last year. Earlier this week, Denmark's parliament passed measures to deter refugees from seeking asylum, including confiscating valuables to pay for their stay. I'm so sorry about these new rules, and it's really bad that the Danish parliament had come out with difficult and harder rules. Meanwhile, in Germany, many Iraqi refugees have given up on their applications and are returning home with the governments battling the Islamic State.